<laughs> the second part is, um, are there any extra, do we run short in that the second part is looking at patterns Leaving that in mind, we'll now go to the details. Okay. And I'd like to introduce you to know, introduce himself already, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee is uh, Professor Emeritus in the Department of Human Genetics. He is probably one of the foundation stones to a lot of this work in population. So I find it a, a privilege to be able to have him to come and give a lecture of my thoughts. So, Dr. Lee. One of the half of our public data they are not of uniform background. I know some of you have considerable mathematical background, while others don't. So I think this is more while to spend the first 10 minutes not talking about genetics, but to talk about algae. And then we can put it aside. Then we are going to use it later. So if you bear with me for the first 10 minutes, I will go to into algebra, high school algebra. All 13 year olds should know about this. First is multiplication. What do we how do we handle this? First, we say A and C, then A and B, just finish A, and then B and C, and then B and C. Yeah, all possibilities are there. So this is called the multiplication. We have regarded this as one number multiplied by this number. Okay, this is algebraic multiplication. And then square. Square is the multiplication. If we know multiplication, we don't have to learn about square. The square is simply a plus b, a plus b. Yeah, that means if a plus b is equal to c and b, then that we call it square. Or well, by the same method, they say a and a, that's a square. b and b, that's b square. And a, b, a, b, that's part of the this is this. Yeah, this is not a different thing. If you know this, this will be automatic when you get this. Because in this case, this is also equal to a. This is well, there's two things. One is the multiplication, one is the particular case.
the second point I want to make is uh, this, uh, you are not the only people to do that. This includes copy readers, editors, and many other influential people. They tend to distinguish the two entirely unrelated things. One is hard, I think. Uh, it is weak, I can be One is called weak. And there are others. Yeah. Which is neither an inclusion nor an advocate, but we don't have time to talk about it. And this, what do you mean by identity? This is an identity. Sometimes to emphasize the form, some people go three. Yeah. It doesn't mean equal. It means identical. Identical is, it is the two different ways of writing the same thing. This is this. Yeah. You cannot solve this. You cannot ask me what is A, what is B. It is pure nonsense. Yeah. If A is 5, B is 3, it is OK. A is 3, B is 5. It will work all right. If A is 35 and B is 57, it also works right. I need to number will do. So this is not the equation. This is the identity. Identity means this side and this side are the same thing. Yeah. Get this into your head. This is not an equation. What, what do you mean by equation? Equation say x square minus or 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. This is an equation. Because in general, this is not true. It is true only for a particular value of x. Therefore, when you see an equation, you have to solve the equation. The identity, there's nothing to solve. Yeah.
I said, they are the same. Because the identity has nothing to do with the letter. Whether you like the A to B or A to the one, it doesn't make the slightest difference. Identity has nothing to do with the letter. So what is it? It is the relationship. If the square of the sum of two numbers is equal to the sum of the two small squares plus twice the product, then first, so it's exactly the same word. Right? The square of the sum of two identities of two quantities is the sum of the separate squares plus four plus twice their product. These two sentences are saying exactly the same thing. So it is the same statement as to use X and Y and A and B is totally irrelevant. So when you read a formula, don't pay any attention to the letters. So what do you pay attention to? The relationship, the shape. Or the structure. These are the things you are looking for, not the letters. So, on the professor's work, what is this equal to? Don't have to write it. It is alpha square, beta square, twice alpha beta. Yeah, we already know. Now, these are the things that no matter how <laughs> elementary you are, that you should know. Uh, okay, this is the first part you should know. This, you will see in the rest of the course if you remember just a few simple things, it will really facilitate your reading and understanding of the things you are going to learn. The rest are just the examples. Yeah. I will just give you one example and see if we can do it. This is one point. Another condition. Then what is the product? Yeah. This is the other example I gave that off the top. The D and R. D and this. This R and this. And this. Concentrate. 
for how long they can concentrate. You know, a two-year care that can concentrate for only three seconds. Yeah. If you keep on talking, you will not get to change. <laughs> As you grow older, you can concentrate on the subject longer. Uh, how long can an adult be long? They say the longest is 90 minutes. Yeah. After that, they are not concentrating. I think, well, if you don't take this law as a physical law, uh, uh, after 30 minutes, 35 minutes, it is, uh, it is not it is that. But I believe, by and large, it is true. Uh, so they changed their, uh, changed to 45 to 50 minutes. We need 10 minutes for the student to walk from one classroom to the other. And this way, they found it works better. I plan to do this method from 3 to 4.30. I get tired, but you get more tired of me than anything else. Yeah. So at 45 minutes, we take a short break. Just to stand up and move around, five minutes. And then we need another uh, 25. Yeah, but I think you will find this five minutes break is very helpful. Okay, now uh, we got rid of the mathematics. So now, next subject is Hungarian segregation. You all have genetics to be born. And why we still talk about the three to one ratio, we have the point to make. We need this to develop the main subject, Harry-Bandler's law. What you say, is Harry-Bandler's law based on academic segregation? You bet. So, Harry. And the 
the fix of segregation patterns are entirely symmetrical. Look, this is one zero zero and this is one uh, zero zero one. They are the same. This one refers to this. This one is refers to this. That means if you change the capital letter into small letter, uh, this one becomes this one. Here we have one half and one half, and here we have one half and one half. The other two are symmetrical by itself. Zero, zero on the side, one in the middle. The other is quarters uh, 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 on the side, one half is in the middle. So the six segregation ratios are entirely symmetrical with respect to capital A or small a. Now, if uh, this we will begin, we will begin to develop party value of law. Party number law uh, involves six steps. I will uh, do it slowly. Fourth step. An arbitrary population. That means it is a initial population. causes R and causes H. You need to remember how many of the best is to be provided. This is the first step. Suppose we consider this population One. We begin with the population like this, entirely arbitrary. The second step is to define a value which we call inference. Inference is e plus one half of the this tree. The tree from half of this. And then half from half of this. This is called Q. This is called the gene from THR refers to genotype, right? Refers to genotype. The THR refers to a genotype. But if you count the number of genes, yeah, not the genotype, the genes, all these have the genes and the H only half of H has capital A, so this is the capital A gene. This is the same thing. All R has a small A, but half of H has a small A, so this is small A. Yeah. In this population, there are T capital A and Q small A. Of course, analogous to this, P and Q is equal to Y. Of Y, we have P plus Q is equal to P plus H plus R, which is equal to Y. Uh, this is the second form. If you define a population, and then you know the thing for instance is, and the third type is rather major. But rather 
we can always assume a natural population is of this nature. Because if they are not, it will be in the next generation. And our generation is not the first generation on Earth. Yeah. So it is probably very safe to assume that the weather making population is taken this form. If you have more alleviates than two, it is also the same form, which we will not go into that. We will just to learn the most fundamental thing. If you keep your six steps in mind, you can create numerical numerical examples to uh, to verify everything I say. the break, we will begin with this. Now, we ask one more question. This is this. If I write the making this, this will be what? What do we have in the third generation? When it is that, the subject will become complete. Okay?